Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to make another uh, H5P application in the LMS using, uh, of course, Moodle. So, uh, yeah, let's go to first here, content bank. If you guys, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a like, and leave a like and comment also in your suggestions and okay content bank add then we will use again a h5p course presentation so a course presentation is used in uh, if it is in the other uh, microsoft apps this is equivalent to um, powerpoint but this time uh, it's uh, an interactive PowerPoint. Okay, that that means you can uh, respond to or interact to the presentation. Okay, so we have effect of particle size on a surface area and reaction rate. I'm using the module of our school as my learning resource. Okay, so I have to just copy and then go to okay, set the first slide. Okay, now uh, add new slide. So I'll go to the first slide here. Then maybe add a background, maybe or something like uh, just to. get the uh, interest of the learners so my this one yes, can be okay so I have that and then done so I have an GIF or an interactive I uh, know not interactive but an animated picture or image picture illustration then I'll insert text and uh, insert the in this activity uh, we will insert the objectives okay, and maybe let's have this word bold here let's see oh, so we have here objectives and uh, that's it like that and then let's make it even larger okay this will be our first slide very simple and then let's go to the second slide slides just like editing uh, PowerPoint then I have already uh, prepared my uh, images or pictures to be post pasted here so let's go to directly to image and add image so, and let's find what I'm doing now is I'm finding the image that I already s snitch snip from the module and let's just click done so we have here the image and let's just uh, make it bigger let's put it right here what uh, what will be then let's uh, what what will be what we are doing is uh, we will let the learner observe the figures and then we'll post questions guide questions for them to answer okay so how to do that let's just add here fill in the blanks single choice multiple choice true or false drag and drop summary and we have tons of uh, other other applications that we can include in the course presentations here 
but in this uh, question we will use single choice set and then let's paste the question okay. which substance will dissolve faster in the solvent then let's give them an alternative I uh, give them choices to choose What I'm doing now is I am um, copy pasting the answer or the choices and the, yeah the choices. Okay, so I have here paste refined sugar will dissolve first faster in solvent period and that's our correct answer and let's have the alternative the options what was the option there sugar cubes so let's just replace the uh, sugar cubes will dissolve faster like that just like that okay sugar cubes will dissolve faster so bad and uh, okay so we'll still have another one how might you explain how might you explain any difference okay okay so we can uh, add additional question here still coming from the resource that we're using the module self-learning module of the, of the learner paste so there you go how might you explain any dif how might you explain the difference okay so we'll have the let's have the choices here the size of the particles okay Let's copy paste this one. Wait. Mm -hmm. Copy. Wait. I can't copy how what what's going on here. Okay. Copy. And there you go, paste the size of the particles matter in the state the reaction rate happens. So I will not include that. Okay, we can include that. Uh, refined the larger surface area of the uh, surface area of what's the answer? The larger of reaction surface area of reaction surface area thus okay it's just scrambled a little or we just have to edit this one thus refined sugar allows faster okay so we'll copy this one and put it the in the alternative and just uh, rephrase it a little little so that it will be the wrong answer the larger the particle size the larger surface area thus the sugar cubes okay there you go so we have two questions and then let's we're done here so let's just click done and then we have the pop up question here all right so we can uh, we can edit this if you want to see uh, the behavior let's check the behavior so that uh, the the behavior let us uh, let's us control uh, how 
how the learner will interact with us. So enable sound, enable to try, okay. Auto continue, no, we will uncheck this one so that uh, the, the learner will interact after answering the first question and clicking the next question. Okay, so I think uh, that's the enable show solution button, okay. Okay, so you have there. That's the first uh, part of the activity. You have the first slide here, objective, very basic here. Right. And then next slide will be the first activity and the first question or the first set of situations. And then let's add additional slide here by clicking add new slide. So we have this slide number three. Then let's go to our the image that we uh, already uh, saved for this activity. So there we go. We have here. Okay, that's the image. And then let's just uh, click. Uh, let's just alternative text to. Yeah, but you can write the alternative text as uh, the what's that the activity all about or that the illustration or image all about okay depending depending on what you okay and mess it I should have used this one okay so you have here then this is our first situation figure figure three four then let's add question about that illustration and uh, the title also so we need that uh, title uh, okay uh, so we need a title here effect of reaction so this will be our title like that Or we can uh, have it full letters, full, full sentence. Okay. And then let's add the question. So, a while ago we have this one here. I'll have to put a title also, this, the second slide, so that uh, the student will know what, uh, what they, what the activity they are doing. Effect of vertical size. I'll just have to add text here by clicking text here. Then paste, control V, and then bolden it because that's a title. And let's have put it number one. Okay. Oh, uh, not not one, but uh, say capital letter A eh, because we already have numerical number one for the item number. Okay, and then let's move uh, let's move these questions downward. Okay, so you have there. Let's have the uh, second one. This is letter B already. Then let's add a question. What do what do we want to do now? Which substance will dissolve pa faster in a liquid solvent? Okay, so uh, I will use again. Oh, we can we can use an ad another another set of question here true or false let's try this one true or false okay we can have we can uh, have that untitled it's th it doesn't matter and let's go to the answer directly uh, answer where's the answer here let me check.
And then paste it here. Copy father in hat. What? Okay. Let's check the copy powder. Powder in hot water will have the higher rate of reaction. Okay. It's just mixed up. Coffee powder in hot water will have higher rate of reaction. That's the first, and that's true. Let's set the behavior setting. Okay, let's have it enable retry button function. Automatically check answer feedback. Okay. And then, so that's our first true or false question. How can we add another true or false? No, we can add. We cannot add another, but we have to do to go back here, okay? So we have first true or false question. Again, let's let's see if we can add additional question. Okay, so I think we cannot add on uh, additional item, so we only have one. Coffee powder in hot water will have higher okay let's edit this one let's put number one here because this is the number one item oh no not comma okay what is happening now one and then yeah okay that's it so answer will be true let's try to check okay. so now next we need to uh, I'll, I'll be using the same illustrations but another question so I'll just click the clone slide so that I will copy this slide here the format the arrangement and just change the question Okay, so I have a clone slide and we'll delete this one here. Okay, so we have here. And let's add additional question. What would it be the, uh, this time? Okay, let's have true or false again. Just to vary the type of questions. Okay, so we have... copy the answer and then I will try to rephrase it both diagrams differ uh, so both diagrams differ in the solvent's temperature the higher the temperature the higher the reaction rate um, I have, to, I have to change this into the slower the reaction rate just to make it false both diagrams differ in okay that's it okay we're done here so we have this que item question number two okay Next, we will go to our reference material and see what we can do in the next item. Oh, okay, so we're done here. Oh wait, let's check if we if we're done. Okay, so we have another another slide here. Effect. So we'll add additional slide, new slide here, and we'll have a title. Then paste the title, and then bold letters. And done. So we have title here. Effect of catalyst on reaction. And
we have the text here mm, I think I have to copy paste and picture make it make it a picture so that uh, nothing uh, will change to the chemical formula okay so what what I am doing now behind the screen is I am taking a snip and snitch of the picture okay just wait a little longer a little while not longer but maybe two minutes save so okay in this case we, we still have to add additional uh, image coming from the module because I cannot uh, copy that as a text because there are uh, molecular formulas that will be rearranged if I copy copy the so I, I copy I made it as a picture so that no molecular formula will be changed like just like that Assis. and then again going back to the resource material and copy the copy again the chemical reaction that is or the equation that is happening and then paste it under the text that just I have uh, pasted okay so there you go okay let me, let me check my recording okay still there image click that add click add and then click the image from where you just save that so I think it's number four already matter. okay cancel and click done and then there you go you have the equation uh, let's just make it a little smaller than the text or emphasis of the text okay then uh, what we're going to do is we will clone it clone the slide again because I'm gonna use the the reaction and then post a question about the chemical equation presented Okay, so we have here. Uh, I think I have to snip, snip things here because there are formulas involved, which we cannot have. the see now what I'm doing again is copy pasting I mean snip snipping these questions okay so you have there so uh, let's have the question mm, uh, we will use single choice again we cannot uh, of course we we are anticipating the responses of the response of the learner we will we will leave that fill in the blanks they might be
they might be answering different what so what is this for? remove format okay mm. nothing here just like that okay and then the expected answer will provide it and just put alternative just to distract them from the correct answer okay so where they where is that yes we have here pretty hard to copy text from a PDF it is disarranging or rearranging I don't know okay paste it there catalyst uh, it locks the Okay, so uh, we just uh, is written. Oh no, no, no! Is written as. I'll, we will just have to explain the the formula because it's uh, not in correct format. We can we cannot do it in this um, application. <laughs> the correct format. Middle of the equation, and then we will copy this one, and let's put a wrong answer. Is written as what? Um, a reactant. Okay, so it is in the left, left area of the chemical equation with notes. Okay, the next, let's have, let's see if we can have the second question in In this kind of question also second question in this unit is you think I'm okay so let's add number two copy we can do it still do it in the single choice format and let's have alternative okay, let's answer yes no Okay, it's just a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. And see next question here. Okay. Beside another question, number three, and then. Okay, now that the magnesium oxide actor is got this sec second tube. Okay, peroxide, what, what role do you think catalysts play in the chemical reaction? To the second tube. Okay, so let's paste the correct answer. Let's remove the provokes. Something I, I don't like the term provokes there. And what rules it ends? Okay, let's just stop there. 
cut the long explanation that doesn't make sense. So, okay, we have here a uh, catalyst speeds up, slow up. So, what is uh, the opposite of speeds up? Slows down. Okay, so I think we're done here. Let's click done. Oh, let's check the behavior. Let's uncheck again auto continue and pass percentage. Okay, total pass request. Okay, there's not, uh, nothing to change there. And let's click done. So we're done here. Uh, we can just resize the question like just like that okay so there let's check if there are additional questions here activity okay, I think we're done here so let's check the behavior Active activate active user mode. I some slide override show retry. Okay, let's let's have that learners retry it so that they can practice over and over again. Okay, I think it's okay. The setup is okay. So let's just save this one. And let's pre uh, view it. Okay, we have the objective there. Ah, okay, so so let's change the let's change the title. But look at that; it's a very good way of presenting. Okay, something to edit there also. So just a, a minor edits here, but uh, that is how it's done guys using course presentation mm. we will say delete this one here it's not uh, the right the proper the proper title let's go to the general title again factors affecting the rates of reaction uh, okay let's have text here make it bolder and make it larger say 125 let's see what happens okay so we have there let's make it uh, a little make it larger than than before hundred fifty that's it factors affecting okay I think we're good there let's go to this time I, I uh, something to edit here let's move this a little downward uh, okay I think we're good now save and again re review if things go things go according to what uh, we wanted to factors okay number one particle size you have question here answer check okay check right next okay wrong we can have uh, retry okay check Okay. Then next, false. Check. Okay, we try. Okay, it's working. And we have here. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, next. Next, but actually, if you're going to repeat this one, guys, the choices will uh, ram uh, randomize, though not all the time. That's the 
it's like that. Then go to the summary. Okay, so mm, let's close it. Okay, so we're good here. Thank you for watching. That is how uh, course presentation is used. Leave a like and comment for suggestions and clarifications if you don't understand my presentation. That's it guys. Good day and stay safe everyone.